प्रदीप सर प्लीज बिगिन Good evening, all of you. I welcome you all on this webinar, and thank you for joining us. My name is Dr. Pradeep Kumar, working as assistant professor at the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Bharat University. Now, I would like to welcome Dr. Rekhamandir sir on behalf of Bharat University. Now, I would like to introduce today's expert. Dr. Pappa Mumda is working as a assistant, a senior assistant professor at Department of Mechanical Engineering, GMR Institute of Technology, Andhra Pradesh. After completing PhD in Department of Mechanical Engineering in IIT Sinchar in 2021, prior to that, Dr. Mumda completed M.Tech degree in Design and Manufacturing in 2016 from the same institute and same department. He received his B.Tech degree in Mechanical Engineering from West Bengal University. Of technology, West Bengal in 2013. He has published and presented more than 15 papers in international journals and the conferences. His field of interest are micro mixing and the characterization, micro and the nano fabrication, non-conventional methane process. He is also a reviewer of different reputed journals, international journals. Welcome, Dr. Sir. audible professor am i audible sir yes sir audible, audible. Uh, yes 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 okay thank you professor cots welcome sir hmm. should i continue or yes sir you continue sir okay 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 thank you thank you professor cots for uh, giving a nice introduction and uh, on behalf of myself i uh, once again welcome you all of you uh, for this webinar and i thanks uh, first of all i thanks to professor cors for inviting me as a guest uh, speaker in this webinar and as, as well as i thanks to uh, whole fraternity of the parul university uh, research uh, doctorate studies and research community uh, for giving the opportunity in this uh, webinar to me so today we are going to discuss regarding uh, micro mixer for different application so uh without any delay i'm going to the my my present my uh, presentation so these are the outline of my presentation is it visible sir everything okay sir yes, please one confirm sir. yes yes okay, okay, okay. this is the outline of my presentation we'll discuss discuss little bit introduction then we'll uh, discuss what is the motivation what why we are choosing this subject because it is very important to know whenever we are take, we are talking we are studying we are res doing research any subject so we should know that why we are doing what is the important why people will be interested to do the research in this field if we it is very simple if i tell to a child that okay do the sum do the addition of 5 and 7 he may not be he or she may not be interested to do that one but if i tell okay just uh, your father has given five chocolate to you and your uncle has given seven chocolate to you just now tell me how many uh, chocolate you have so he may be interested like that so uh, that is my uh, method i i used to uh, talk or i used to Ready for the lecture. First, I we I try to motivate the student that why we are doing why why this topic is interested and why uh, we should do the research and why why we are doing the research. So I I will try to uh, cover that one also. Then I will show some scope, some research scope or uh, some area where people or her researcher can carry out their uh, entire uh, PhD or entire research work or in, in, uh, they can spend their life also in this field by uh, doing many researches. and then i'll focus on a particular objective one uh, one work uh, related to uh, that in this field i have which i have already carried out and i also the how uh, it and it has been carried out and uh, what are the result we have obtained and how uh, finally that will uh, means will show that uh, what are the result we obtained and then uh, uh, we will conclude the session and whatever the uh, publication i got in this in this field i will show and then as per the formalities i will show the references so uh, the term microfluidics uh, the nowadays microfluidics term uh, basically very well known to among the research society uh, for its wide range of application but uh, i will tell that microfluidics is not any scientific term uh, rather than it is a sort of uh, uh, mixture of different uh, dis discipline 
so it is not like that it is only for the mechanical student or only for the uh, biological student or only for the fluidics purpose it is not like that it is a it is a, rather than it is a subject of uh, having uh, uh, where the different people are working and different uh, uh, discipline people are working together uh, for achieving different for uh, solving different problems though the term micro it is very short very tiny term but uh, the, if we see the ad application if we see the advantage it is a vast area so uh, that uh, like a means though the term uh, micro means very tiny very small what we are talking but if we see the area if we see the field uh, if we see the application wise that it is a very real it is a very vast it is a very gigantic uh, like that so uh, actually when we don't know when uh, if we if i tell to a person that what is microfluidics so it may be uh, a means uh, it will be depending upon his perception perception in the sense of like that suppose i am telling to a blind person that what is elephant i am explaining something uh, from my explanation he is getting something and he, is, he or she is telling that okay that, that is the elephant suppose same thing i am i am uh, i am uh, giving a touch giving a real feel a real touch of the elephant fin what what of the feet of the one of the feet of the elephant to a blind person he will touch it and he will tell that it is a it is like a uh, pillar nothing else the same thing when he will touch the uh, tail he will tell it is like a rope like so it is the depending upon the perception not and uh, but when he will be able to see the whole things he will be able to know the whole things then only he will be uh, know that it is a very big animal animal like that he can it can uh, it has a lot of uh, power it can do many things like that only so it is same way it will be a uh, very means depending upon the perception in which perception he or she is uh, seeing that uh, in on that basis it will be a, uh, it, for him or for her it will be the means uh, things but uh, in the in the uh, just now i'll say uh, if we say the definition definition of the microfluidics in the definition way it is can be said very simply that studying fluid flows with characteristic length scale of the order of microns so means the fluid flow whatever we are studying that is the the whatever the characteristic length scale that is the in the order of micro micron uh, i think i believe that uh, being a researcher or being a, uh, a student of the higher studies that we know that what is the micron what is the micrometer so just if i give uh, the real feel of the micro micro terms that is nothing but like our human human hair the diameter of the human hair is nothing uh, is near about uh, 70 micro i can tell so 50 to 70 micrometer or micron so now we can get a feel that what is the in which scale we are going to discuss the basically the whatever micro channel or micro uh, fluid is device we are going to discuss the characteristic length scale is near about maybe 50 to 300 micrometer the if we see the channel width like that it is not like that whole device or whole the system in the micrometer or micron scale but the whatever features or whatever uh, characteristic uh, we are, in which portion we are going to study is that when which uh, that our studies uh, in that focus that is in the in the range of some micron. I uh, means it is not like that uh, a micro channel should be whole all the dimension in the micro level. The a micro channel can be uh, up to certain millimeter, up to certain centimeter. But the width, if we see the width of the micro channel, or if we see that uh, one uh, means any features of the micro channel, some obstacles they are these are maybe in the some micrometer or micron. So uh, this is the one just uh, outline I want means I want to uh, before going to any means uh, our numerical studies or any means many things we are just I want to give one real feel of the micrometer or term micros and uh, just I and I I will tell one thing that uh, if we say one clear substrate like a one glass I, if there is any micro channel it will be look like a just a scratch a scratch on the, the uh, means that glass thin glass that is that is the micro channel basically so uh, if we see in, if we see in the naked eye it is not it is nothing but a scratch on the substrate that is the micro channel so now coming to the uh, uh, studies about that with the development of this this kind of devices with the development of these microfluidics devices what we are going to discuss or means many other person also a clinical laboratory or a pathological laboratory may be integrated in the form of a single chip means that whatever we are doing in a laboratory, in a, uh, a pathological laboratory, uh, many blood tests, many things, uh, many tests are going on. So if this kind of uh, uh, microfluidic device are modified or 
if not only modified is already done also so it can be done whatever whole things is going on in the through in a lab in a laboratory that whole things can be done in a single chip or lab on, we, we call the term that is lab on a chip you know uh, many of our uh, us may know it that lab on a chip it is, there is a very very big journal or a very good journal that is a, uh, the name is lab on a chip so we'll discuss some of the part so uh, just uh, if we see what is done in the conventional laboratory or conventional clinical laboratory or pathological laboratory, that is nothing but the mixing of two or more fluids. Two means, uh, at least two means, one is the sample, it may be blood, it may be smog, smog, it may be urine, and another one is the chemical. Some chemical is there. Uh, after that, some uh, reaction or some changes is occurred, and finally it is observed by the microscope, and then accordingly the report is prepared. The so same thing when we do by with a lab on a chip, it is not required to that uh, all the things are not manually. That whatever the system, it is having some uh, one chip, like one chip. We can uh, we can say that uh, we if we see some uh, circuit diagram like that only. One chip is there, and the whole thing is going to happen there only. So not only one test, uh, several tests can be done at the same time. At the same time, and, and not uh, it is not required to individually. We have to see the result and we have to prepare the report. But whole things is monitored monitorized by online system or maybe online camera or other uh, uh, highly definite de uh, device, and then the report is accordingly prepared. It, th that is also online. So for the case of conventional laboratory, it requires a lot of uh, manpower, a lot of space, as whole things are uh, be, uh, being conducted online, uh, offline only. But when it is done uh, through a lab on a chip, so I, I told that uh, it is like a uh, that circuit diagram or chip or a, like a just one uh, one credit card size. We can uh, tell very easily. So whole things are uh, very we get the result very instantaneously, and all the things are online. So nowadays we are very much familiar with the COVID test and pregnancy test also. So we can see that we can tell that these are the one uh, these are the some types of uh, that microfluid is device where that uh, same test has been uh, conducted. So uh, that COVID test is uh, now uh, we, we know it. We we have seen very much in, in the last two years. We have uh, we are very much familiar with that device. So one of the example of this kind of devices. So now, yes, it is very true that nowadays all I means many very not only in India, not only in any particular country, all over the world, the globally that people are interested to do the research. For the uh, micro structure, micro fabrication, micro different micro in the field of micro, but it is not only for the fashion only. There are a lot of advantages. It is not only for fashion or it is not only for train only, but because there are a lot of advantages. That's why people are interested to do the research in the field of mic uh, micro uh, micro field. I can say micro or uh, why the people are interested in uh, miniaturized device. I will say also some advantages. So whatever. Uh, that uh, example I have given, that is the test, that is the pathological test or blood test. So in the, res, in the, in the same respect, if I say that it requires less uh, material, it requires less material means, yes, it is very true that whenever the whole device or whole system is going to be a very short, a very uh, uh, short size or miniaturized device. So it is very true that the material, the consumption will be very less. So it is also it is a one advantage, and in the same way the sem less sample requirement. What is the meaning? What is the meaning in the sense of if you see that if the same test is conducted by the uh, conventional laboratory, for that time it may require uh, 20 ml blood. But when we are doing the same test with our uh, lab on a chip or uh, this kind of uh, I mean, microfluid device uh, through the, this uh, microfluid device, so for that time it may be required only one pinch of blood or one one drop of blood. So same thing, same report we will get. We, maybe we get by the one drop of blood, uh, multiple result or multiple tested at the same time. So the re requirement of the blood or requirement of the sample will be also less. So, um, first, the material, the requirement of the material to fabricate the device. Second, we are coming to the, the requirement of the sample, whatever the, whatever the test will be done, it may be for blood. So that requirement of the blood will be also very less. Similarly, the, to run the devices, to uh, run the device, the, uh, the requirement of the power, uh, it will be also very low. And it will give very fast result, 
result and with high accuracy. And we are, when we are coming to the uh, laboratory safety, obviously, while who are working there, uh, their safety is a very necessary necessary thing. So uh, if you see that whatever as the requirement of the sample, requirement of the sample is less, means in a similar way, the corresponding chemical, the requirement of the corresponding chemical will be less. See that uh, whenever we are doing the same test through conventional way, if the requirement of the blood is, blood is 20 ml, so similarly the sample requirement which, uh, with which it will be mixed and then we will get the result, the requirement of the chemical will be also less or also high. It may, it may be 20 ml. Uh, if it is equal, then it will get 20 ml. If it requires double, then it will be 40 ml. But when the same thing we're doing with a pinch of blood, so that time the requirement of the uh, chemical, corresponding chemical will be also less. So it will give the uh, safety to the uh, uh, person who are working in the laboratory. And it, it, uh, that uh, it will give also very improved quality of the result. And I told that all the things are uh, very online, uh, like online system. And it is very automatic, uh, like uh, all the, whatever the measurement, whatever the test is going on, it is very automatic type. And it is very easy to handle. And uh, nowadays, very uh, this kind of very many devices are uh, produced or many devices are uh, means fabricated or uh, means invented, which are portable, which are easy to portable from means it is not necessary you have to go to the laboratory for blood test for rather than that you can purchase the sample you can purchase the kit if so you can purchase the kit and you can do the same test at home also so it, it become very easy to port, port from one place to one another place and similarly whatever we advantage we have shown all are related to cost effective means we are getting very uh, in the in the low cost but uh, the very means uh, improved result with low cost so now we are coming to our main uh, topic that is a micro mixer means whatever we uh, we are discussing it is a whole it is a broad area but now particularly we are coming to the micro mixer it is nothing but that you can see one uh, i am giving one I have given one uh, that i have given one uh, just schematic diagram that uh, it is a one micro mixer the two inlets having two inlets uh, of two different color fluids are coming and finally we are getting uh, one mixing uh, mixed fluid at the outlet so the micro mixer is very uh, it is a one essential component to integrate any microfluidic devices as the microfluid at the micro mixer or microfluidic devices uh, means our requirement is the very rapid mixing rapid mixing and uniform mixing and we know that the whatever the micro uh, means fluidic device uh, these are run at very low runners number so the flow are basically laminar and uh, whatever the mixing it is take place due to only the molecular diffusion. So it becomes a very challenging task. There are different types of micro mixer, uh, that micro mixer according to the working principle or working uh, that it can be classified in passive and active micro mixer. What is the passive micro mixer? That is nothing but the whatever, I mean, the source of power or the uh, fluid pumping is the only one, so one, one source, no other any, sources to uh, no other any power sources to uh, for the uh, for enhancing the mixing only the uh, whatever the pumping uh, fluid pumping is there that uh, for that only the fluid will be passed and accordingly the whatever mixing we're getting that is the uh, that will be the output for the uh, passive micro mixer for, but for the active micro mixer there are several external energy sources sources are used to enhance the mixing so fluid pumping power is there and uh, uh, in addition to that Several, maybe it may be some uh, magnetic field. If we are giving some magnetic field in the micro mixer, so it may be enhance the uh, mixing because some uh, means, uh, some uh, means, uh, um, uh, if, we, if we suppose uh, one example, if we are giving some uh, electrosmosy effect, so it, for that effect, it, uh, that fluid will be some uh, means uh, uh, it will break the laminar fluid, it will some uh, chaotic condition will be there, and then we'll get the bitter mixing. So similarly, different. Uh, it may be different types of power. It may be uh, external. Uh, sorry. It may be magnetic field. It may be electric field. It may be mechanical energy, whatever. But uh, some addition, some additional energy sources are there. That's why these are called active micro mixer. So now we'll see different uh, field of uh, means different field where these kind of devices or this kind of physics are utilized. So not only means we are we are not going to utilize already in the nature, already in the environment. These are lots of examples are there where this kind, where these physics are working. So if we see that one, how one small insect can uh, run over the uh, surface of the water, that is also 
or that if we see the fish that is also the micro uh, and come under the microfluidics so uh, but human can um, run over the water or surface of the water but a, a small insect can uh, do that is only that is for the uh, that uh, means uh, surface to volume ratio so uh, similarly like uh, whatever i told that uh, um, uh, drug, uh, drug delivery or blood extraction if we see that how a uh, a mosquito can exert uh, exert the blood from our body without uh, we can i can say without pain it is giving pain but that is for the case of acid whatever having uh, in this hook but uh, that the extraction of the blood it is not uh, it is very means we, i can say very painless very thin they having that uh, that kind of needle of human uh, i can say that uh, researchers is still now unable to i mean invent this kind of uh, needle <laughs> so uh, already all our things are there in the nature we can just we are taking uh, we are taking the help from the nature to means invent uh, to make all human life uh, means uh, affordable and human life uh, means uh, means uh, uh, we are uh, we are taking the uh, means uh, whatever whatever natural uh, uh, what principles are there we are taking just to make our life uh, more happier and more easier easier like that so uh, it these are used for different uh, means biological test uh, in different diagnostic uh, cases and the if we see the case of a inject printer they are give only three to four or five types of color but we are anti, uh, but finally we are within very few second we are getting a beautiful color having multiple colors getting a beautiful picture of multiple color that is uh, that is a uh, means that is also whatever the phenomenon whatever the activity principle are there that is uh, come under the microfluidics so uh, uh, that micro that inject printer is one of the means commercial product or uh, it is the one uh, i can say it is the uh, one uh, means uh, complete product which came which come in the market uh, which is the complete microfluidics product which come in the market uh, first product or i can say initial very means uh, with uh, long time ago it came but maybe that time it was not not known to as the microfluidics uh, microfluidics device but this is the one product which came in the market uh, this is the uh, and this is the one microfluidics product um, uh, means uh, a complete product which came in the market uh, a long time ago so if we see that uh, electronics component also there are how that very cheap very means uh, in the mobile or in a very compact laptop uh, what 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 is the system, what how the fluid flows to make the system cool or make the uh, means whatever the device is there to uh, means which will the how the fluid is flowing they are also if we see that uh, the phenomena or the uh, principle is like the microfluidics so now i'll show some areas or some uh, interference which are obtained from the literature uh, means uh, that one just kind of product just kind of thing which are uh, we i got from the literature the microfluidics or sorry micro mixer is one of the integrated part of the loc devices and it has a variety of applications and i can uh, we, uh, and there are a lot of work uh, numerous number of work comparative studies have been carried out for different configuration of micro channel and other flow condition for obtaining the better mixing the fluid in the case of pc mix micro mixer there are only whatever the modification is done that is only the changes in the uh, maybe the channel geometry or curvature like that uh, whatever the means to enhance the mixing only the changes in the uh, channel geometry Uh, we can add some obstacle we can add some reefs or we can add some uh, means we can uh, change the flow path then then also we can get better mixing so the use of obstruction uh, enhance the mixing of the micro mixer with decrease the flow rate and uh, instead of steady flow if we give some alternate flow we will also get better mixing or we will get uh, it also influence the mixing and the electrosmosis effect whatever i told that if we uh, if we can add or if we add some electrosmosis effect within the uh, micro mixer or within the micro channel we will get also better mixing this is also a important field of research and as we know that all of the biofluid are non nutrient mostly non nutrient so uh, the mixing of non nutrient fluid uh, comes under uh, and uh, means uh, under a, i mean this is also a very interesting uh, topic of research and it is very true that whatever research is going on most of the work are numerical basically numerical but uh, there are i uh, mean uh, there is comparatively that uh, fabrication and the experimentation work are less and 
if we see that uh, what are the types of means what are the materials are used to fabricate this kind of channel for experimental purpose or for uh, product purpose these are maybe some copper means metal also they are polymer type also they are uh, so uh, copper is copper silicon or copper silicon or stainless steel uh, glass uh, pdms polydimethyl silicon these are used for uh, fabricating the micro channel and different techniques are also used so some of the techniques is uh, micro adm laser beam machining photochemical machining soft lithography so uh, these are the some uh, means out, outcome from the literature and now if we see that uh, research scope where people can carry out their uh, their research so there are lots of scope uh, to explore their work uh, related to the effect of channel geometry of the micro mixer and there are uh, relatively less work is available. I told that uh, most of the work are related to steady flow. So people can also carry it out. Obviously, it is not that even then I am telling that it is a new new thing, but already uh, many works are there, but it, it, will, it will be a very, means, uh, means completely less work are there. If you can, if you interest, you can carry out your work uh, for the case of alternate flow uh, in, the, in, the, in the field of micro mixer. And there are also a scope is there, um, a scope is there, to invest uh, to uh, see the effect of obstacle different it may be different types of obstacle different geometry different geometry different orientation different position uh, in the micro mixer so what is the what is the effect in the micro mixer we can see check it we can uh, do the research on this field also and uh, already told that um, non newton fluid the mix, micro mixing uh, for the case of different non newton fluid is a interesting field of research so people can carry out their research in this field also. And I told that uh, completely less work are available, uh, means uh, related to, uh, means active micro mixer compared to passive micro mixer. And relatively uh, less work available related to fabrication of the micro mixer and experimentation compared to numerical work. Because uh, means, uh, people are interested, nowadays people are very much interested to do work from home and just uh, they are interested to do work uh, just by sitting in front of the computer only. So they are not interested to, uh, means, Run the machine like that. So it is very true that many, most of the works are related to come numerically, uh, numerical work. So people uh, who are interested to do or who are further uh, elaborate, uh, interested to elaborate this work, they can continue by fabricating this kind of micro channel and doing the experiment. I'll now also one just one uh, uh, one work, one numerical work which has been carried out in the same field. In the same field. Uh, that uh, the work objective is that numerical study of micro of mixing in OAV micro channel comparison between Dacon and serpentine channel. It is already uh, published uh, in a uh, chemical engineering and processing process integration journal uh, in the year of 2019. Uh, we have carried out this work. We'll adjust, I will show how this work has been uh, carried out and uh, uh, what are the methods that have been used and how we got the result. And finally, I will just uh, in addition to that, I will show also. Uh, one uh, means how this micro channel physically look. These are we have also fabricated this kind of channel, and we have also carried out a little bit uh, experimental also. So I will just show in the, at the end of the PPT. So these are the two types of micro mixer. Uh, the schematic diagram. First one is the uh, we are calling it is a Dacon channel. If we see the waviness of the uh, wall of the micro channel, we are calling it is a Dacon channel. And second one we are calling it is a serpentine channel. So if we see the uh, upper side, the top layer, top uh, wall of the both profile, both uh, micro channel, both are same. So this uh, the the top wall, top wall profile of the channel, Dacon channel as well as the serpentine channel can be explained in this by this equation. Where that uh, we have taken uh, the inlet width, the width of the inlet section is W W. We are denoting by capital W. And after this, we are taking two W. Obviously, I means why are we are taking the W and double of the double of the width in the outlet section. Before that, also we have done a lot of uh, experimentation, a lot of uh, numerical study to find out the uh, suitable uh, width, suitable uh, many other parameter also. So just after uh, getting, we have taken, uh, we have got some uh, means uh, we have concluded something. Then we have taken that. Uh, the W uh, is the width and 2W is the outlet uh, width of the outlet section. And here the uh, gamma is the means uh, wavelength and amplitude is denoted by the A. So uh, these are uh, this term are varied to means see the effect. The bottom wall of the both uh, for the bottom wall is varied, just it, it is uh, opposite to another one. 
So the bottom wall for the Raccoon channel is uh, can be defined by this equation, and the bottom wall of the serpentine channel can be defined by this equation. Just we can see that both are uh, the same. Just here it is uh, negative, and here it is positive, because that is the profile is same, but it is in the opposite direction. And the waviness, whatever I told that uh, uh, that is uh, it is uh, non uh, diamonds. It is make uh, dimensionless when by the uh, term uh, by the dividing the W the width of the inlet section that is uh, denoting by the alpha and it varies uh, in the in this study it is varies from 0 0.1.5 to 0 0.455 this uh, 4.5 it is uh, not like that that we have taken some randomly data it is also after some uh, numerical studies and um, taking from literature help from the literature we have taken this uh, data and we have varied in this range and here that a lambda is also varied uh, which is uh, i told that uh, that gamma divided by the W, that is also varied from four to twelve. So we'll see for the different uh, parameters, the what is how it varies and how it um, uh, we are getting the different results. These are the numerical uh, met uh, numerical um, methodologies that uh, continuity equation, monumental equation, and mass uh, transport equation. Here, the whatever the study has been carried out, that is two D steady flow and uh, laminar. And uh, the whatever the fluid that is neutrino fluid only. The boundary condition is said that uh, at the inlet and outlet, uh, the uh, you, the fluid is uh, sorry the, at the two inlet that uh, um, that uh, u is the uh, is the uh, velocity vector that is uh, that is u u u in both the same and the concentration that is varied in the one section it is given c one and one, another section it is given c naught. Uh, and the while it is uh, the velocity is zero. And the Reynolds number is defined by this equation and a Smith number that is the nothing but the ratio of momentum diffusivity and the mass diffusivity that is uh, defined by this uh, mu v, mu by p d, where that uh, we know that um, uh, rho is the uh, it is uh, denoted by the density and p is the pressure mu is the uh, dynamic viscosity c is the concentration and d is the diffusivity, or the, um, which is required to define the micro mixer micro uh, define the mixing. And finally, the results are evaluated or results are quantified in this term that is mixing efficiency. One term is given by the mixing efficiency, which is calculated by this equation. Where whenever we are getting zero, that is the fully unmixed condition. When we are getting the 100, that is the fully mixed condition. So it will be varied from zero to 100. And uh, pressure drop also calculated. And sometimes we see that, that uh, pressure drop is also increasing and mixing efficiency is also increasing. But our target is getting the higher mixing efficiency with low pressure drop. So uh, individually, if we calculate the mixing efficiency and pressure drop, this may not be sufficient. So one term is in, uh, one term uh, that, that has been uh, introduced that is mixing cost, and which is uh, calculated by this equation. And mixing performance is also can be calculated, but here in this whatever study I am going to show that here it is not calculated because um, the result we got in the terms of mixing cost. So uh, people can, uh, if they are interested, to they can calculate the mixing performance also. So now we'll, we are going to the focus in our study, and that this is the numerical methodology. What whatever the method is adopted, the velocity and the concentration fields are obtained by the numerical computational based on the uh, finite element method, and the governing uh, transport equation are converted into a system of integral equation by Galerkin weighted uh, residual method. The physical domain is divided into uh, elements, and the transport variable are uh, approximated by uh, using suitable interpolation function within this element. And the Lagrangian method, element method technique is used to approximate the transport variable within the domain. And the Newton Lepson uh, iterative method uh, is used to solve the equation. A relative convergence criteria is set 10 to the power minus 5 for the, all the simulation. And before I uh, solve our problem, we have simulated one problem, uh, which is already solved uh, by the other researcher. And we got that our result is uh, quite, uh, means our, uh, the train of the, our result is quite uh, similar to the other uh, previous solved result. Obviously, we know that whenever we are doing some uh, numerical work, we should, uh, we should do the grid independent test. Um, so our for our case also grid independent test has been done for all cases just i am showing for one uh, particular case that is uh, rounds numbers uh, 7.5 and sc100 and uh, where that uh, lambda equal to 4 we got that uh, in maximum cases whatever finest 
grade has been taken. If we see the uh, that one to last one, that is less than uh, 1.1 percent. The the error or the difference. So now we are coming to the result that uh, these are the con uh, streamlined contour, streamlined contour for the uh, both cases, both cases in the sense of uh, that is the recon type of channel, that is serpent type of channel, serpentine of, uh, type of channel, channel. So uh, both cases and this ABCD is noted by the three different types of uh, different uh, range of Reynolds number. For first case, Reynolds number is 25. Second one, second cup, second pair is for 50, third pair is 100. And for particular uh, alpha and particular lambda, uh, means the ge geometry wise, both are all are same. Uh, if we see the wavelength, if we see the length, uh, amplitude, but only we varying the Reynolds number. So here only change as the geometry as the dimension is same. So only the changes in the uh, flow rate. So now if we see if by the figure on itself, we can see that for the case of recon channel, we are getting more recirculation in the case of recon channel uh, compared to the serpentine channel. And if we see, uh, just it is for uh, same rounds number. If we see the uh, difference in the geometry, uh, effect of the geometry in the micro, in the uh, flow, that we can see that for the case of Rapon channel, we are getting more recirculation as compared to the serpentine channel. And if we see the uh, effect of Reynolds number, it can be seen that when increasing the Reynolds number or higher number of Reynolds number, Reynolds number they are, for the case of both cases, we are getting uh, higher recirculation. Means uh, with increasing the Reynolds number, we are getting higher uh, recirculation. Uh, where is that? It is less at the case of low Reynolds number. And uh, if we see, if we compare between the Reynolds, uh, sorry, if we compare the uh, between Reckon channel and Serpentine channel, we can see that for the case of Reckon channel, we are getting more recirculation. So this, uh, whatever I told, that is uh, written, that strength of recirculation zone increases with increases the Reynolds number for both type of micro mixer, and the size of recirculation zone is smaller for the case of Serpentine channel, serpentine micro mixer as compared to the recon channel. Uh, means uh, it is it is of the uh, other other parameters. So now these are uh, for different wavelength. If we uh, for the means the streamline contour for the for particular Reynolds number that is fifty and alpha that is also fixed that is uh, the amplitude is also fixed that is zero point four five and the for different gamma that is uh, first first pair is for the case of gamma four. And second pair is the four uh, gamma eight, and third one is the gamma eight twelve. So for recon micro mixer, the recirculation region exists. If we see that uh, that recirculation gene zone is sorry, the recirculation zone exists for the all case of recon channel. But compared, if, but now if we see the uh, when, uh, serpentine channel, this case there is no recirculation zone. And and if we see that the strength of the recirculation, the strength of the recirculation decreases with increasing the wavelength. And the uh, the means, uh, um, uh, in the case of serpentine micro mixer, the recirculation region almost vanishes, almost vanishes at the for the case of higher wavelength. So these are the uh, uh, that uh, mass fraction contour, uh, uh, contour that here we can see that uh, uh, for the different Reynolds number, for four case of Reynolds number it is shown, and for the particular case of uh, Alpha in particular case of lambda. Actually, the, whatever outlet we are showing, it is for particular distance. That is x by w is 26. If we see the distance x axis y, then if we divide by the uh, inlet width, that is 26. So up to that certain uh, distance we have so we have seen and we have uh, got some uh, means outcome. Then uh, the outcome is like that. That with in with the decrease in Reynolds number, the fluid achieve the fully mixed condition in the yeah, in the case, uh, means, uh, uh, means uh, in the uh, uh, that here you can see that for the case of first case or A, we are getting at this that distance only we are getting the full mix. That's uh, you, uh, green color we are getting that is the fully mixed. If we see here also that here that is zero and that is one, and the zero point five is the uh, fully mixed uh, means, uh, condition that is we are getting here. But however, for the case of uh, higher Reynolds number, the fully mixed condition is not achieved even at the outlet 
whatever means we have taken that uh, particular distance in that case the, uh, to that lens also we did not get it and such observation in, in, in means is uh, in clear support to of the effect that the mixing mixing is diffusion dominant for the lower values of Reynolds number and the corresponding residence uh, time is uh, very high if we see that uh, why it is happening actually that uh, when the Reynolds number is high means the flow rate is high so there is residence time is very less and uh, for, for the uh, case of low Reynolds number the residence the residence time of the fluid is very high so it is giving the very uh, means it is giving highly highly mixed condition at this uh, particular case and now the other hand if we see that the very high Reynolds number when uh, we are getting uh, some uh, means uh, result condition type of secondary uh, uh, flow condition so uh, that is also um, it's affecting the mixing so we'll see the by the plot how it, it's varying from uh, for different Reynolds number and this is the mass uh, uh, fraction distribution for the case of uh, means uh, for different sc number so that intensity of the mixing of two fluids decreases with increasing the sc number and the, this can be uh, interpreted that from the fact that the molecular diffusion uh, decreases so it is directly related with the molecular diffusion that is sc term is the um, so that is directly related with the uh, diffusivity. So the uniformity of the uniformity of the concentration field increases with decrease in the SC at as the given uh, hydrodynamic condition. So these are the results. If we see that uh, for different, I have told that different for different number of SC that is SC 25, 25, 25, SC 50, and SC 100, and uh, 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 means these are for gamma four, these are for gamma eight, and these are for gamma twelve. And uh, here, all the alpha, whatever the means, these are for um, given all the case of alpha and for the recon as well as serpentine. So, if we, it is it is very difficult to see this figure uh, because here all the results are uh, shown. So, if we see any particular geometry, so I'll show it uh, in a larger view. Uh, here, if we see that any particular uh, case, uh, that here, if we see that all alpha is shown, uh, 0.15, 0.3, 0.45. And for particular, here I am saying particular uh, one lambda that is eight, and particular one SC that is fifty. So you can see that uh, for actually whatever the uh, outcome we got it, it can be divided in three parts. Three parts in the th sense of three design. That is first uh, from zero point one to one Reynolds number. Here, if we see that it is very I means we are at the uh, I means uh, initially we are getting the fully mixed condition that is the case um, that is for the case of uh, because of high residence time but the Reynolds number is very less they have the high residence time so it will get the fully mixed condition and when it is increasing the flow, uh, me, uh, flow rate or Reynolds number is increasing we are getting the less mixing if you see the mixing efficiency we are getting the less mixing and again it is changing when it is changing when we are getting some recirculation we are getting some secondary uh, flow condition a flow zone in the uh, in the flow secondary uh, means uh, recirculation we are getting that then only it is again it is changing so the if we uh, if you uh, means whatever the outcome we are getting or out of what are the mixing we are uh, getting if we divide it in the three design it can be designed it can be defined that 0 0.12 Reynolds number uh, 0 0.0 star we have given and second one is the 0 0.0 star 2 0 0.0 critical we are telling and I will tell why we are I mean, why we are giving this term. And third one is the zero point sorry Reynolds number critical to Reynolds number maximum. So zero point one to zero point R uh, star that is here the mixing is only contributed uh, con I mean, controlled by the molecular diffusion, not dependent on the geometry, not dependent on anything. It's only whatever that uh, for this case of Reynolds number it will be it will give the high, highly mixed condition. But for the case of uh, R star to R critical means we are uh, this. These are we are mentioning where it is decreasing. In, in this case, the, in this case, the mixing constantly, uh, constantly decrease, decreasing, uh, decreases with increasing the uh, Reynolds number and indicating the mixing, the mixing is diffusion dominant and the mixing characteristics are dependent on the geometry. And the third one, the critical to max. Here we are getting, I told the mixing efficiency either increases or remain constant, maybe constant also, but not decreasing. That that is due to uh, due to uh, that uh, formation of the vortex or secondary flow, uh, for, for that only that it will be, it may be either increasing or maybe constant, uh, but not decreasing again. So the, if we see that uh, final result that mixing efficiency at the outlet, at the outlet, it increasing when the amplitude of the mixer 
or alpha is increasing. And similarly, in, in the mixing at the outlet increasing when the wavelength of the micro mixer is decreasing and the uh, it, uh, similarly the speed number is decreasing and mixing efficiency is higher for the case of rapid micro mixer as compared to the serpentine mixer for any particular value of Reynolds number or uh, lambda or alpha uh, mixing is higher uh, here also you can see that a black uh, is constant uh, continuous line uh, black continuous line is shown by the uh, for the case of recon channel whereas the red dot line is shown for the case of serpentine channel so mixing efficiency is always higher if we case if we see the particular case any particular case the high, uh, mixing efficiency is higher for the case of record micro mixer compared to the uh, serpentine channel for any other uh, other uh, parameters the difference in mixing efficiency the difference in mixing efficiency in uh, between the recon channel and serpentine channel it is uh, means increases with increasing the Reynolds number from this case um, from this particular region that is re star to re critical and beyond that after that one it may it may uh, means uh, after that after uh, re critical beyond that the mix the difference in mixing efficiency decreases when uh, sorry uh, that uh, difference is decreases when there is formation of insertion if vortex is formed then only it will be decreases and otherwise it will it will be uh, that that difference will increase so now if we see that case of a uh, pressure drop, if we discuss in the terms of pressure drop, the pressure drop is always higher for the case of recon micro mixer as compared to the serpentine micro mixer. Uh, and if we see any particular uh, set of um, recon, uh, set of uh, alpha, so that higher for the case of micro, uh, recon micro mixer as compared to the serpentine micro mixer for the same geometrical parameters and for flow uh, flow parameters. And the difference in, difference in the pressure drop we see the difference in the pressure drop between the recon and serpentine micro mixer increases with, in, with increase in Reynolds number for any specific value of uh, alpha lambda and the variation the variation in the uh, difference of pressure drop with Reynolds number is lower for higher values of lambda and lower values of alpha and for same region the mixing efficiency is higher for recon channel and for given uh, for given wavelength difference between the mixing cost whatever means i have uh, I told one term that is mixing cost that uh, for given for any particular wavelength, the difference between the mixing cost of the recon and serpentine channel is higher at higher amplitude. I have not shown that uh, uh, plot here for the mixing uh, cost, but the, that is that is the that was the outcome if, uh, finally uh, for calculating. So that uh, the difference for any particular uh, for, for any particular case of uh, wavelength, if we see. The difference between the mixing cost for recon and serpentine channel it is higher at the higher amplitude. So these are the some outcome for new, uh, from the numerical studies uh, for the comparison of, comparison of recon and serpentine channel uh, for different uh, other parameters, different flow conditions, flow uh, different flow conditions. So now I'll show some uh, figures, some photographs, how to fabricate this kind of channel. Obviously, we are we are doing lots of work. In the uh, by sitting in front in front of the computer, but unless and until we can fabricate this kind of device, or until and unless we can means uh, we can give the physical uh, presence of this product, then this, I can say this is one kind of useless. Obviously, there, there are lots of uh, lots of uh, means impact for numerical work also. But uh, if it will be better, it will be it will give a very means uh, high strength, or high means important of your work if you can produce the same kind of micro channel or you can uh, means fabricate this kind of micro channel and you can do that same thing by uh, means in in your lab or means, uh, physically so this micro channel can be fabricated whatever i told these are the same uh, geometry same type of micro channel i have fabricated with the uh, with pdms material that is polydimethyl toxin how it is fabricated uh, how it can be fabricated i am giving just some some uh, brief idea means if anyone interested to do or anyone interested to fabricate this kind of channel for other purpose also they can fabricate so first you have to prepare the mold mold it can be fabricated by a, a different material it may be uh, some polymer based material or metal material so whatever your requirement of the channel that same replica you have to fabricate by the by the, uh, material so we have fabricated this kind of mold uh, some uh, pmm material some metal also we have fabricated using uh, uh, nano idm nano idm uh, photochemical machining and uh, laser based machining also we have fabricated then uh, we have to uh, we have to prepare this kind of mold and then 
we have to make one cavity and there you will put, we will put the pdms that is nothing but the one silicon uh, silicon elastomer base uh, with the, some curing agent is there uh, it, it should be the 10 is to 1 ratio and weight ratio that whatever ratio i am telling that is we have measured by this uh, this uh, precision analytical balance uh, meter and we have measured it and we have given 10 is to 1 ratio then we have uh, we mix it properly and then pour it in front in the mold and uh, uh, but after a certain time basically it takes 24 to 30 hours then it becomes solidified then we whenever we will build the mold from that uh, from that uh, pdms we'll get the micro channel so we can revert it we will get it so uh, but one thing that uh, when we are doing this process but sometimes it uh, means if we do in the normal atmosphere we get some air bubbles so for uh, means uh, to means uh, means not getting that bubbles we can use that vacuum detector uh, if we do the same procedure means after pour, after pouring the uh, pdms in the mold if we keep the same thing in the air vacuum uh, desiccator then if we uh, means uh, make it vacuum then we will uh, that kind of uh, problem or limitation we can overcome so these are uh, by this way we can fabricate we can uh, produce the micro channel so these are the physical loop what we have fabricated these are the micro channel uh, recontine micro channel if we see these are digital image basically if you see that dimension it is near about uh, for total dimension is near about 40 centimeter four four centimeter so if we see some uh, look I mean, uh, close look these are the air bubbles whatever i told so it can be means recovered. I have recovered also uh, later, but I have given some image to show that how the air bubble are there. So these are the uh, closed look of the uh, Recon micro channel. And these are the microscopic image. If we see the same thing, microscopy, then what uh, that uh, the dimension is 50, uh, this dimension is 500 micrometer. So we can un understand this is near about, actually this one is near about uh, 300 micrometer. Sorry, 600. So inlet was 300. So that outlet, whatever I told, that is double. That, is, that was 300 micrometer. So these are the, uh, uh, this is recon type. This is also recon type. The microscopic view is a serpentine type, serpentine type. So these are basically near to the inlet, this portion. And these are near to the outlet section. So uh, microscopic images, images also uh, shown to have a I mean, feel, real feel of the micro mixer. And finally, that uh, we using that uh, syringe pump. So we have used syringe pump to means, give the partic uh, particular flow as per our requirement. So we um, actually we have, we added two different types of what uh, we added water only. We have given here uh, two different color to see the effect. And finally, that uh, whatever we are getting, we, it was uh, means uh, the whatever the image we got, it was recorded by the online camera system. And we can calculate the uh, pressure also, out, outlet pressure, inlet pressure, by the pressure sensor, data logger pressure, pressure sensor. So this is also, we have done something. And uh, then whatever the data, we, whatever the pressure we are getting, that, that was actually loaded in the Excel format in the computer. So this is the experimental setup, uh, how this kind of uh, experiment is done. And if, if anyone interested to do the research in this field, that they can carry it out. And uh, that uh, means we have seen whatever we have done the research that it was seen that the fabricated micro mixer are capable to follow the fluid and it is also confirmed by the pressure sensor and the data level that the fabrication uh, fabricated micro mixer are capable of flowing the fluids at different pressure. We have also uh, means uh, up to certain up to, um, it not only not only up to that we have taken uh, lots of uh, pressure. I am not gi giving the particular data here. But we have done that it can be it is capable to do this kind of job and finally these are the close view of the micro mixer uh, that mixing is taking place if we see that inlet side we, we can clearly see the two different colors uh, blue colors and red colors but if we um, with increasing the length if we go to the excess length if we see the ex, uh, means outlet side color it, it is not clearly i mean so we can't uh, clearly means uh, segregate this two color though is this side we can do something but here it is near about it is going to be mixed we have taken uh, this uh, this images from during our experiment so these are the some uh, literature we got so we got uh, publication in this same field first one was whatever i told whatever i discussed related to the 
OIV micromixer comparison uh, between Tecon and Serpentine. Second one was related to some obstacle. We have added some obstacle and we uh, we discussed the effect of different expect ratio obstacle. And third one is was related to uh, heterogeneous uh, charge surface. We have added some electrosmosis effect and we shown that how it can be varied, how it the result is varied. Related to non neutron fluid. So whatever I told this type of work can be carried out. And these are really very important field of research. And uh, last uh, two are uh, related to different type of uh, fabrication, how this type of microgram are fabricated. This, in this case, we have used the soft recovery technique. And this was also so related to micro channel fabrication. Here we have used wire ADM and soft recovery technique. So as a numerical work also can be carried out in this field. Uh, fabrication who are interested to micro mix micro manufacturing they can also continue their work in this field and uh, for, uh, further if you want to uh, means uh, give the strength of your work you can uh, means finally you can do the experiment also so that you can that uh, work will be more valuable uh, it, it will give the support to your numerical work and some uh, book chapter also we got uh, we got published in the same field uh, these are the important some important uh, some of the references which I have uh, taken the from where we have I have taken the help who prepared my PPTs and I uh, I should acknowledge uh, to my uh, guide PhD supervisor Dr. Sukumar Patisar, assistant professor department uh, department of mechanical engineering in a uh, for his uh, support uh, during the uh, work and another uh, mentor Professor P K Patwari professor department of mechanical engineering in a disilger. And uh, Dr. S.S. Wangikar, Head and Associate Professor, uh, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SBRI in, uh, College of Engineering, Pandarpur. Actually, I went there for uh, this kind of fabricating this micro channel. Uh, they have uh, laser beam machining. Well, I went there for fabricating the micro channel. So uh, they have uh, helped me also a lot. And uh, Sukumar, uh, so, sorry, Sumut, uh, Mr. Sumit Kumar Mehata, from Research Scholar of the, uh, Scholar of the Mechanical Development and Silja. Uh, I have, um, he has also helped me a lot during the research work. And thank you all of you for your uh, uh, kind presence. And uh, obviously, I should thanks to uh, whole our university fraternity for giving the opportunity and uh, Professor Kors for uh, give, inviting me. Thank you all of you. Thank you so much, Dr. Kors. For giving our valuable knowledge to our PG scholars and the faculty members about this interesting topic, and we appreciate you for making a valuable time in your busy schedule. And thank you again. And uh, participants, I have sent a Google form for the uh, certificate and the please. And if you have any doubt, any query, you can send the mail to the professor. He will definitely reply you. Yes, yes, I will be very happy if, if you. Uh, con contact me or any, not only for any inquiry. And, uh, contact number also. If you or I'll be happy to work with you. If you, if you are interested, we will be means we can do the work collaboratively uh, in future also. So we can do. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. Anything else, sir? No, sir. No. Okay, thank you. Thank you, all of you. Can I leave, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you, sir.